my kitchen. Hello. Let's welcome Chef AJ. Hey, hey, guys, hello, Shada's audience. Well, maybe my some of my people too. I, Who knows? I, I'm sure they're they're crossing one another. And for people watching on my channel, welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people who are doing Thank great you. things in the world that I think you should know about and talk about amazing. Shada lost me, meaning I weigh about 119 pounds, and she lost that much weight over 10 years ago and has kept it off. Nobody does that. You you haven't seen me in three years, right? Ever since the whole COVID thing happened, she hasn't seen me. So first thing she does is she comes and she checks me out to make sure that and I she have has some game. Game announced and she looks amazing and she gets even even not necessarily leaner, but like you're just in such great physical shape. Well, I try, you know? I try, but I always said that if I ever gain weight, she's gonna have her foot That's up right. my, you know what? And you I'm and Tammy Kramer, I'm on you. Yeah. You know, and I can't imagine somebody like this single. I cannot believe somebody this gorgeous that can cook. And boy, are we gonna cook for you today? So I have a new book out called Unprocessed. It's the tenth anniversary edition. So it has new photos. Well, actually, the old one had no photos. So it has photos, color photos by Hannah Kaminsky, a new forward by Dr. John McDougall. 30 new recipes, we're gonna make a couple of them tonight, and all the other recipes we kept intact but gave updated versions for how to make them lower in a fat. A great book, I just went through it, and there's some amazing the recipes. Pictures are really, oh my God, really the pictures beautiful. are, Hannah, you did a fantastic job, my friend. Thank you, and if you order the book, or if you've already ordered it by midnight Pacific time on Sunday, April 3rd, the year 2022, we're gonna send you bonus recipes like. Can I show, can yeah, I show, can I show? Shana made it. Look, you guys, I can't wait to try this. She hasn't baked it yet, but this is what no. it looks like before going in the oven. You're going to get mm. my famous French glazed apple pie it recipe. It smells so good. Three, one, so three good. two hour cooking classes with the PDFs. I sell those for $25 each. And the Audible file. Well, it's not the Audible. It's going to be Audible. The audio files of the book before it's released on Audible. So let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. So I'm going to put right. this away. Great. So the first recipe is called Over the Rainbow Lettuce Cups. And well, you willing to answer some questions oh, in yeah, case absolutely. some people have questions? So of you can course, let us. Of course. Uh, we've got Charles here who can ask uh, questions, and uh, Aaron's here. So go ahead and type in your Please. questions into the chat box, and AJ will be happy to answer. Yeah. What I'm doing now is I'm just getting the pan nice and hot. Now realize I schlepped everything here from the desert, and it took three hours instead of an hour and a half. Now she knows how it feels when I used to I schlep know. to her house. But they should have built a train. So some of the ingredients are not as fresh as they could be because the lettuce cups, which were like this, are now like this. But well, yeah, it, we'll, we'll do the best we can. You know can. what? It's still going to taste gonna amazing. It's going to taste amazing. Oh, so I'm okay the with best that. lunch. We used the ranch dressing that Nan Simonson made today on my that channel. That was delicious, Nan. That watching, was really good. And she made her famous mushroom soup, which I think they can get on your channel, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, they can get yeah. on my channel. And yeah. her aunt made tadig, oil-free tadig, crunchy, and this rice that was heaven. I don't even know it what was it was. It was called cilantro rice. So, so I'm sorry. I had a long day. So we're getting onions already cut, and we're just throwing them in. And we're just going to let Are it they cut down. evenly? Because you know your you anal. Know, Shana's a Virgo, <laughs> and if, if it's not cut evenly, she goes nuts. And so with oil-free saute, we're just going to let them hang out until they start to brown. And if we need a little water, we add it. Shada has the same tools as me, except hers Well, are, of course. Yours Hello. are in, like, perfect condition without any... Uh, it's amazing. This oh, God, I better back off before she stops. This is a little garlic chopper. This thing is amazing. Because it chops it so much fine. I know. It's the best thing I ever bought. The best thing. And you can do it left-handed or right-handed. We're going to add the garlic. I always do the garlic after the onions. Absolutely. Because it, it can burn. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, so we're just waiting for that. And we're using rainbow chard because I just think it's so pretty. It's yellow. It's orange. It's pink. It's white. I think it's the prettiest of the greens. So what's the benefit of using a rainbow chard? Just because it's pretty and I want it to look pretty. But taste-wise? Taste-wise, it's very mild. So people that don't like kale yet or exactly. arugula yet or mustard greens yet generally will like things like rainbow chard and beet greens because they're mild and people that want to add salt to this what are your thoughts because oh to gosh, me this tastes very so salty. salty exactly but you know people are quick to without tasting anything to add salt. i know i have a friend like that, that before it's even tasted right they put the salt on yeah i i don't get it you know salt is in my opinion is a very lazy way to season but, but that's why you're using yeah. swiss chard you don't really need to nope. use salt this is nope. salty already so we're just going to microwave a bag of rice because... And I it. was going to make the rice for her and she said no. Just because we need a little for the recipe. 
I love the Trader Joe's rice. It's organic. It comes in brown and white. And, it, you know, you don't have to do everything 100% from scratch. And if they wanted to, could they use white rice, brown rice, I red rice, black rice? I, I mean, prefer white rice. She just didn't have any in her freezer. That's my favorite. One of the other shortcuts I took is for the sweet potato croutons that go on the lettuce cups. I bought the kabocha squash organic already cubed I, you, that can substitute for them. But because it defrosted in the car, I think we're going to have a little bit mushy croutons. But if you got the book, you've got the page number, and you can just perfectly cut your sweet potatoes like Shade of Wood or buy cubed sweet potatoes already at places like Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. Yeah, Sprouts. I'll just throw that away, so get it out of your hand. You. That's a shortcut that I like to take. I listen for when it starts to sizzle, and then when it does, I move it around. And, and what then, kind of pan are you using? I'm using a pan that I've used for years. It's a Pampered Chef pan. It's it's not nonstick the way Teflon is. It's like hard anodized. Stupid. And uh, I can never pronounce yeah, it. it, it anyway, there's, if this is just a great pan. What I love about it is it's got the sides, so it's like a wok. It's a saute. It looks pan. like it it's would like be great wok. for doing stir fries. I love it. I know. It's so great because we're going to be putting a lot of stuff in. So the lettuce cups call for, well, usually a peanut sauce that's made without peanuts. I make it out of a secret ingredient. The recipe's in this book. It's called Ultimate Sauce. But and it's a good sauce, it's you very guys. Good. But what we're going to do is a variation using a can of fire roasted tomatoes and some other seasonings. It's just a different variation because we needed the blender for our dessert recipe and we're trying to Because dessert, we always have to make dessert. Do you know where my spices are? Um, yeah, the, ones, uh, the ones that are savory. You've got the oregano. Yeah, that's it. It's not oregano, but it's okay. Yeah, oh. yeah that's for the dessert. Okay, I always smell everything to make sure it's good. Come on, so, you don't want to put cinnamon in, our, in the uh, lettuce cup? Hey, you know, I once put cumin in oatmeal and it didn't taste very good, let me tell you. So I brought my own pan because, you know, in case Because she doesn't trust my pan. No, because in case anything went wrong, I certainly didn't want to bother yours. So Shada, so many people have such a hard time escaping the pleasure trap, losing weight. You did it. You did it successfully and you never looked back. Everybody knows how to lose weight. We don't care. Any diet works. But what has been the secret to weight loss maintenance? Ten years. That's like unbelievable. First of all, keep all the junk out of your house. That's number one. And continue to do what you were doing when you were losing weight. That's the best thing I can advise you to do. Because the weight will keep com coming down, but then once you hit your goal weight, your body will adjust, so you're going to be fine. So just continue to do what you were doing. And you know what? You, you can't have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. If you think that after 10 years, I can sit here and go, well, maybe I have a, a couple of chips, I'll have some nuts, I'm going to have drink. Some of the, a drink, or this, or that not going to work. You're going to regain all your weight. So why go there? And I, and I promised myself, once I went down this road, I was never going to look back. And AJ knows, Charles, Aaron, they're all here. They all know I have never looked back. And you never looked better. Thank you. So my rice is ready here. <laughs> but what about these people that, like, if, you know, because the way that we eat to lose weight is the way we eat to right maintain now. it. We, yeah. but it's also the way that a lot of the doctors that we work with, they just eat because it's healthy. It is. But what about these people that they're not losing weight fast enough? Because you never were in a hurry. I was not in a hurry. Look, you guys, we didn't gain the weight overnight, and we're not going to lose the weight overnight. Slow and steady wins the race, and that's what you got to do, literally. Um, just stay focused. you got to have your laser beam focused. you got to know the reason why you're doing this. Because if you're doing this just to, I don't know, you want to get into a dress for a wedding, a certain occasion. No, this has to become a lifestyle. This has to become a way of life for you. And I think once you wrap your head around that, then you're going to be fine. And it's going to take time. I'm sorry, this didn't happen. And I, you remember I hit a plateau for like six months. And you didn't? It's, it's so that you didn't like go try keto or something else because no, you No, absolutely not. I called you. I called JP. I was, you know, but... I continue to do what I was, I've been doing all along and everything was fine. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, but it, it, it's so strict. I could never eat like you. I don't find it strict. In all honesty, I really don't find it strict. Um, I mean, in the fact, she made today was fit for a queen. In fact, I think I've gotten, a, even personally, I've gotten a little bit stricter, but that's my own reasoning for doing that. But I don't find it strict at all. I really enjoy eating this way. I was never a fan of a meat chicken. The only thing I missed, I used to miss was sushi, but honestly, I don't you even miss that. You make great sushi Yeah, now I make great sushi mango. now, so I don't even miss that. So Do we have any questions? You. you can see. 
Maybe nobody's watching. Charles, is anybody watching? Have you checked? Sure, so watching. you can see I'm starting to brown them. You don't need oil. Do we have oil. any questions? You don't need oil for cooking. No, you don't need oil. Whoever says you do, they're... All and right. look how caramelized, well you I can't know. see, I wish you guys were here, but it's, it's caramelized you beautifully, beautifully. Yeah. So now I'm going to add my garlic, and I could keep going, I could get these as dark as you want. So now I'm going to add my garlic, I never add the garlic at the beginning. No, because it's, it's going to burn. burn, no it'll burn, so you don't want to do that. You always want to add it towards the end. And let it hang out for a minute or two. And then I'm going to saute the greens just very quickly. I want to keep them bright green. I don't want them to get gray and yucky. This smells so good. Just onion and garlic. I got, what do you say to people that can't have onion and garlic? I don't know. Oh my God, I feel so bad. And in fact, my neighbor, he does not like, well, he likes garlic, but he doesn't like onions, mushrooms, that bell peppers. And I'm like, oh my God, you don't know what you're missing out on. Just a little more water sure. for saute. Wait till you see the cherry pop up. It is such a great recipe. We used to, for like 10 years, every holiday we would go to True North and Shada was my sous chef. And also she did her own classes and they loved the cherry pop. And I got to tell you, I haven't seen her in three years, but I've missed this. This is what we used to do. We used to cook and make stuff up all the exactly. time. Exactly. And it was, you know, fun times. Absolutely fun times. So here's a question. Is there a special pan to use to get the onions so caramelized and not burned? Um, you just need a good nonstick pan. Like I've got a scan pan, and I've got a, 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 a pan that I bought from Costco for like $15, and it's just, it works beautifully. The you trick. caramelize them with a nonstick pan. Yeah, but, yeah. but the I trick is. You do it in stainless steel. It yeah, will you work. could. It does. You just got to make sure your pan is hot enough, and then toss it in there, and then just keep adding water. Okay, I am adding, look how beautiful the colors are. That's it's why gorgeous. they call it rainbow chard. And I'm just adding the rainbow chard. And I don't want to cook this too much. I just want to get it a little bit soft. At home, I sometimes put a little top on it to cook faster. But this is going to cook really, really quickly. And we're going to use this to fill our lettuce cups. We're going to plate everything at the end, though. We're not going to, like, stop and do one yeah. recipe at a time. So, it, it, you know, these aren't raw, but we want them just, just a little bit, you, you know. You want it just a little bit, you want it al dente. You don't want yeah. it mushy. No, That's the last all. thing you want to do is have it mushy. Yeah, not your greens. They taste so much. And then, and the color changes if you, if you cook them too much. And so instead of putting in the non-peanut peanut sauce, I'm doing the Italian variation tonight. We like Italians. So here's, I'm gonna a, use, here's a question. Mm -hmm. How long do you have to let the lasagna set up in the fridge before you cook it? Oh, the truth is, is you don't have to. I only did that because I was having company the next night. When we make the lasagna at Rancho La Puerta, we make it right and put it right in the oven. So you absolutely don't have to do that. I was going to say, we don't, we're not making lasagna right now. Well, we, we had Dr. Hans Steele and Dr. Columbus Batiste for dinner. And so we had the lasagna that we had made in the show the night before. Just, just even this. Even this looks gorgeous. You know what? Add a little bit of mushrooms to this and you can call yeah. this a meal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mushrooms would be great in here. You know, bell pepper, anything you want. This is just recipes or a template. Dessert recipes I suggest people follow. Oh, absolutely. But for I agree. cooking recipes, make them your own. So this is enough for me. I'm going to add the can. So that means we're not getting uh, oh, no, enough I mean, for you to a, eat? or This is enough uh, cooked for me. Oh, so, I thought you meant like yeah, the whole pan is enough for you. <laughs> it is enough for me. So now I'm just going to add my seasoning and my fire roasted tomatoes. <coughs> and then that is that. And I'm going to turn the heat off now because I don't want it any more cooked. I'm actually going to move it over so it doesn't continue to cook. And we're going to, oh, it smells so good. So mm. what else could you use in place of shark? Um, you could use kale. You could use collard greens. I mean, really, any green. I suppose you could even use spinach, really. I think you could. Any green you want. But the reason was is the rainbow. Over the rainbow, it's just, I think, chard is so pretty. And it's so colorful. Yeah. You want to make your meals colorful. Because if, right. if you don't make it colorful, appealing to your eyes, you're not going to eat it. Am I wrong? So there you have it. Even if we didn't, we're going to put this in our lettuce cups, but even if you just ate this, oh boy, be careful, as a saute. Yeah, please don't be, spill. That would be something if it went all the way over the floor. Okay. That'd be a whole different show, oh, guys. Here's, here's a question. When does Loose Way with Full Plate start? It starts tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific time. Registration ends at midnight tonight. They do a 21-day class, and people are so impatient. They, it's like they want to know everything the first day. Because they want to lose weight the yeah, first day. Right, yeah. <laughs> 
If the class is lose weight with a full plate, teaching you the principles of calorie density so you can eat more and weigh less, it doesn't say lose weight in 21 days. Well, but you know how people right. people are impatient. All right, so now let's make the cherry cobbler. Okay. So if you want to bring the the coconut, the nuts, and the dates over, and let, we're going to show you two bags of coconuts. So one of the things I did in the 10th anniversary edition of Unprocessed is I kept the recipes as originally written, so you'd have the original book with the original forward. But there's a new forward and by me and a new one by Dr. John McDougall. That'll be for another recipe. And uh, all the recipes are the same. One recipe we took out because it had alcohol and I learned that that's not good in any amount. So we took that one out and we showed you a, in the book, a low fat variation wherever possible. So one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna make a streusel topping and I'm using uh, coconut and nuts. So to make it low fat, guess what I would use instead of the nuts? What? Guess. Hmm. We used it today in the pie. Oatmeal. Oats, right. You could use oats instead. And instead of full fat coconut, you get the you can get res reduced fat. So th that, those two tweaks right there could make this considerably lower in fat. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our pecans. I really recommend if you do use nuts in this recipe, pecan is the best one. It's better than could you, walnut um, or almond. It's got a buttery flavor. These could are, you do half are, and half? Can you do half nuts and half I oats? I haven't tried, but why don't we try? Not, I mean, not right now. No, well, not right now, time. but I'm wondering, you could do that, right? I don't see why not. And then our spices, there's three spices in there. And now I'd like you to zhuzh it up. Zhuzh it up. Like that, means, that means mix it up, guys. Yeah. Just it. If you don't know AJ's lingo, yeah, it. Good. Good. so now what we're going to do is we're going to be adding some dates, but what we're trying not to do, remember how when you made the crust, we said, keep it going, keep it going so that a ball forms, right? right? But you don't want that this, for here. This is like a streusel topping. A streusel topping is often made with flour and sugar. Right. And so we're, we're trying to make it so that we can, this is going to be a sprinkle. It's going to be a sprinkle for the cherry cobbler, but also a sprinkle, you know, that you could use on ice cream or fruit. So we're going to start with that many dates. So could you use medjool dates? Because I, I see that you're using yeah. Declet Noir. So I use Declet Noir because they tend to be cheaper. I get the organic ones at Costco. And uh, uh, because I like the fact that they're a little bit drier. <laughs> Okay, let's feel it. Right, sometimes you just gotta go by feel. I mean, this is perfect. I mean, hopefully it's sweet enough. Does anybody wanna taste it and tell me? I don't eat nuts. Shada doesn't mind taking one for the team because she has more self-control. Sweet enough? More date? To, okay, so to me it's too sweet. Then it's probably fine. Usually when stuff is too sweet she knows, to us. She, yeah, she knows, so uh, to me it's so too sweet. So if it's sweet. too sweet for us, it's good for the masses. Exactly, so and I, don't, I literally took like that much. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this in another bowl and we're gonna use it and now we're gonna make the filling of the cherry cobbler. Did you get? A, did you bring a bowl for that? Um, yeah, uh, we, we could use this, we just, it just, all it had in it was chard. So as long as it's not wet. But this little streusel topping is just a wonderful addition to even fresh fruit if you might wanna slice it up your nice creams and again lower the fat how you like you're using half oats all oats reduce fat uh, coconut you need this anymore no, we, we can use it dirty so i mean not dirty but you know so now we're going to make the filling of the cherry cobbler and so to do that what we're going to do let me get this so it doesn't in case it is a little bit i drained my cherries, these were frozen cherries. I, I really don't know how to do it with fresh because then I'm not gonna have the juice. Because when you drain your frozen cherries, there's like a lot of liquid left, you know? Now, do you have chia seeds by any chance? I might. Because I think I forgot them. I don't think I forgot them. Here, I oh, I that's moringa them. powder. Okay, I know I forgot them. Because the chia seeds are gonna be our thickener if we can find them. If not, it's still gonna work, don't worry. Um, check on the top drawer. No, hey, Aaron, check and on so the top what we're cabinet. Do is this is a lemon from Shada's tree and we're gonna zest it into the filling. Do you want flax? No, flax won't thicken and it doesn't taste very good. We're gonna zest this and we're gonna you know, juice it. Two years ago, I had such a severe reaction and to this yeah. day, we're not sure if it was from the chia seeds or the walnuts. Husk? Do you have psyllium husk? Mm -mm. Okay, no worries, it's gonna be fine. The dates will thicken it enough. It's not a problem. Let's just get to the. It's fine. Nothing, right? Like I think 
Shade is using what's called a micro flame. I prefer the zester, but it, either way is fine. Some people like more of the little shavings. I tend to like the long strands. So I'm gonna be putting the cherries back in here because we're going to mix this in with the filling. There's nothing like making. homegrown lemon. Yeah. Oh, it smells Oh my God, delicious. right? Do, can, um, have you ever had Meyer lemons? I just planted the tree in my backyard. Yeah, those are amazing. When you, when you get your new house, you need to plant that. Oh, sorry. Those are nice pants. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Nice. It's hard. To, okay, so she's getting that done, and I'm with oh, the rice. I'm gonna get the uh, scissors. Okay, so, and um, do you want to put the juice in there? Uh, the, no. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, the juice of a lemon. Yep. Yeah. Just opening my rice. This stuff is a lifesaver. I'll tell you. Sometimes I just microwave a bag of rice and steam a bag of broccoli. And put on a little curry vinegar from California balsamic. Oh my God, that I curry is dinner. so good. No, okay. It, it, what chia seeds do is it just kind of like gels it, you know, makes it thicker. Yeah. It's okay. These things are great. It's a quiet night. It's Saturday night. Everybody's probably out partying. It's okay. They'll watch the replays. Yeah. This is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Day five, I'm going to be doing this two more nights, going through my book. So tell us about your birthday. My birthday was Tuesday, March 22nd. I turned 62. I celebrated last night with the doctors. It's on uh, YouTube now. Let's see what else did I Oh, my do. God. This, you know what? You were going to need. Hard. Yeah, it's kind of hard. So why don't you give me lemon juice? Okay. That's interesting that it's so hard. Wow. Because I don't think it was really. We're just going to do a splash. Yeah, we'll this take that. Yeah. No, 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 no. What is that? That's, okay, so in Iran, there's a tree called Naranj, and that's what that is, that we planted it here. And it's literally a cross between, uh, Aaron, behind you. Behind you on the second shelf. Naranj, it's a cross. Naranj, it's a cross between a lemon and an orange. Wow. And it's extremely, and remember I brought it for you one time? It, why would it be more sour than, than lemon juice if it's a cross between it's, an orange? It's really sour. But it's good for dressings and stuff. So if you go to the Middle Eastern market, you're going to find it. Okay. Now we're going to wash it. Wash it up. Here's a question asking, is there anything for oats and smoky sweet potato burgers? Mm. Oh. Yeah. Um. You know what I'd like to do because, and I'm going to answer that in one second. Let's add these dates just because I don't have any of the thickener in there. You know what I mean? See if that thickens um, a little bit. Dates isn't going to do it? Um, we're going to hope. I'm going to hope that it's No, I, I'm sorry, flax? Well, I think it's flax is thicker. It, it makes it gelatinous. Really? thing is I didn't even put the, uh, the chia seeds in this but I know it belongs yeah I think we've threw it out when I okay. with my allergies it's gonna work don't worry Whatever. so I would say if you can't have oats that is a tough one uh, because most bean burgers or most veggie burgers have beans, which I can't have. So I'm looking for like the, the filler and there's already rice in it. So I guess off the top of my head, I would just say an equal amount of rice, but I can't vouch for it because I haven't tried it. So I'm sorry about that. Says, uh, Maybe what quinoa. What about cooked brown rice videos? Well, that's what I was thinking because there's already rice in it. So I was thinking even more. So we're, we're maybe not going to add all of this, just a little. To, so we're going to just stir this up. And we definitely want to save this and use it either in another batch. So we're going to stir that up. And we're going to make a whipped topping for the top. And then we're going to plate all the food. I mean, I wonder, you know, people have said things like quinoa flakes. Can you take a little more? But I've never used that because Charles is allergic to quinoa. Oh, my so, God. I almost made a quinoa dish today. I'm like, oh, Charles, oh, Charles, God. Charles. So save this cherry puree. This can be anything that's left like this. This can be used 
in a smoothie on ice cream. It's basically just cherry juice, dates, and... People are asking about uh, Fig Millet instead of oats. They're suggesting. Well, that. yeah, you know, but but see, here's the thing about oats. Rolled oats are the third incarnation, so they're practically already cooked. Millet, you probably have to cook it, and, and, and it's going to change the flavor. That's all I can tell you. I'm sorry about that, though. It's just like the recipe is so good. I wish you could have oats. Um, what else is like an oat? Do you have Alexa here for me to ask? No. Darn. At home, I just say, Alexa, what can you substitute for oats? All right, so let's put that aside and make the whipped topping. So we'll use the blender, and then we're going to plate everything up for you. The croutons are cooking in the Breville around the corner because we didn't have enough room to do everything right here. Oats. Oats are just, my, my gut says just more brown rice or white rice if you're using white rice. That's what I would do. Um, you know, the oats just help, you know, so you can do this. Like an oat that you could eat because you can eat rolled oats raw. So this is the what about filling. no oat groat won't work. No oat if you're allergic to oats. Yeah, I yeah. Still I, I, after I said it, I caught myself. Right. So now what we're going to do is make a pear whipped cream. And I'm going to show you how to lower the fat in the original recipe from unprocessed. The pear creme anglaise had either macadamia nuts or cashews. Ah, oh, the good old days of yeah. macadamia <laughs> nuts and cashews. Uh, and so what we're going to do is use oats. So those the, the person that's allergic to oats, you probably will have to go back to use nuts in this one. So if you could please get the jar and the green dish. So I love to use the Trader Joe's or, or other companies. It doesn't have to be Trader Joe's, but I love to use glass jars because I reuse them. And if you saw the earlier episode of the ranch dressing today, you saw that I really do reuse these because I put the ranch in it and brought it to shade us. Yes, yeah, she does. She so does. I much prefer this to cans. These are the ones that are just in their own juice or at least in grape juice. And all we did was drain it. And you can save that juice for smoothies or oatmeal, whatever. And then we have our oats, gluten-free rolled oats, and our vanilla powder. The vanilla powder, in my opinion, is pretty essential to this recipe uh, if you want it to taste like a vanilla creme anglaise. So all we're really going to do is... You know, shush it. Shush it. The, the new word of the day. Shush it. It's shush spelled Z-H-U-G-G. -Z -Z shush. delicious stuff. This is delicious on every parfait. It's good, right? It's just like pears. It tastes like whipped cream, but without. I never liked whipped cream, but this but I no, like. No, this is like a topping. It's very good. We're going to put this on top of it. Hey, don't stick it back in here. You touch it. No, I took it like oh, this. Because she's a Virgo. She should know that. All right, so now. I just took the. Oh, hey, hey, we should have a show together, we, we, like like an actual like comedy, like the like the odd couple. Like I'd be cleaning this yeah. as she's cooking. I, like I right mean, now, I'm going crazy because it's I like. I would be Oscar Madison. She would be Felix. Sunder. Oh, definitely. You know, two years. Dude, I can't remember. Whatever had my concussion. The beginning of 2020, I'll never forget because I was forgetting things quite a bit at the beginning of the head injury, and I made my lemon poppy seed dressing. A, a quadruple recipe, and I didn't put the top on the blender, and poor oh, Charles no, was no, cleaning no, for no, four no, hours because no, 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 those no, little no. little poppy seeds get in everywhere. Charles, so. you didn't kill her? No, no not yet. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna. We have a question here. Oh, sure. You find your mixer blade gets dull. Well, you can get it sharpened professionally, just like you would a knife. Hmm? Yep, absolutely. Do you There's, need a spoon for this? Yeah, a little spoon to plate it up. And what then, is your favorite vegetable? Oh gosh. Um, Okay, so zucchini is actually a fruit. I would say my, you know, it's so close between broccoli and Brussels sprouts. I, it's, it's hard to say between those two. Brussoli, you? Brussoli. Bruss, what about? Uh, wait, brussoli. what about your zucchini? I said zucchini is technically a fruit. Oh, that's right. So the question was my favorite vegetable. Yeah, sure. All right. So, like I said, we were in the car for Can three hours. Can you hand her the scissors? And these lettuce leaves kind of flop, but I'm sure you know that it stores. You can buy things like bib lettuce where it's more like a cup, like you would get at P.F. Chang's. But like I said, three hours in the car without refrigeration. But they're still going to taste flat. amazing. Now, one thing you could do, if you prefer, is mix your grain in with the vegetable dish. And then it's all one contiguous, is that a word? A contiguous unit. Or 
you can just do it like you might see at a restaurant where the, the, the rice is first. And then you eat these by picking them up. You know, well, this might be a little... Yeah, actually, you'll still be able to do this. You can still pick this, this yeah. up. It's, so you put the rice, as little or as much as you like. And then we take... Well, actually, we can use the same spoon. We take our delicious chard mixture. Look how beautiful that is. On top. It's so, I love pretty food, you know? It's fun to have pretty food. We've got a question. Who's the bossiest chef in the kitchen? Shada. AJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They both point at each other. Yeah. <laughs> and do we have our, uh, can, we, can we get our sweet potato croutons? And so I like to top these with the sweet potato or the kabocha squash croutons. That was a funny there? question. And we had the, see, we both right. We both had the, we both answered the question correctly. This Where's is, pot holder? Huh? Pot holder. We're, the, pot we're oh. getting it in the other room. So we just cooked it in the air fryer for about 30 minutes at 20. We just, you want to just put a few on the plate? I don't only need, I only pick the best ones you can that are the most oh, square. So I like to, because again, I love color. So sweet potatoes are bright orange. Kabocha squash is sort of a yellow squash, a uh, yellowish color. You could also get butternut squash cubes. So they, they get a little bit crispy in the air fryer, so they're like croutons. And where's our California balsamic? Oh, um. Oh, I see, it's over on the counter there. Oh, here's a question. I tried the pear cream recipe, but the oats became very gummy and we where's did not eat it. What did I do wrong? Mm, I don't think you did anything wrong, because you find. Do you see it? I see it over there, I think. Can you find, can you tell me what kind of oats you use? Because mm. that's, I've never had that happen. I mean, there's going to be like, can I explain? Do, would you, did you think this was gummy? The no, oats? not at yeah. all. So um, I would, and what kind of pears did you use? And, and were your pears drained? Were they, were they real, I don't want to say dry, but did, were all the liquid off the pears? So e even without the croutons, this is like a pretty, I think I would eat it just like that. It's a beautiful, pretty plate of food. But we're waiting just for the croutons. And I've seen, have you ever seen cubed already um, sweet potatoes? It's a store. Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, I have. I have. So for people that don't want to cut it up or whatever. Even um, Whole Foods, they have a whole frozen yep. bag of root vegetables. Yeah, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So you could even do that. And that's really colorful in and itself. And mm -hmm. that would be beautiful on top of this. Yep. Our croutons are we coming. We are just waiting for our croutons. Croutons? We would love to eat this, but Shayna made us such an extraordinary lunch. I didn't. I just made it's a simple so lunch. Good. Thank you, Erin. Actually, you know, you could eat these. These are just delicious as they are. You know, oh, absolutely. I would eat that just by itself. But I like to put them on top because, you know, it's like a little bit more starch, a little bit more color. And these are a little bit makes it crispy and crunchy. And it's just, as my grandmother would say, a taste thrill. And then I do like to, especially because this version doesn't have the peanut sauce. The peanut sauce recipe is free of peanuts, has a secret ingredient, and it's in the book called Ultimate Sauce. You need to shake it. Oh, but I like it. And I did a video the other day with Thomas on how to shake it. And so, of course, I like to just hit it a little. Oh, man. we got to take a picture of this. Oh, we will, definitely. Oh, wow. And this is, this is amazing, I think. Whoops. Did I drop a crouton? I'm trying to doing two things there so I and you could this. I mean I know you use the uh, smoked hickory balsamic but you could flavor. use any flavor right I, mean, I wouldn't use like chocolate on this but any flavor oh, so man. We'll, we'll take some pictures of this in a little bit and now let's plate up the cobbler so take the glass be careful I'll, you spilled over here I'm so sorry I'm gonna let you do this so <laughs> yeah because she just spilled yeah okay so, and she knows how I feel about all that shade is a Virgo can you tell all right. Oh, I think yeah. our audience already yeah. knows that I'm a Virgo. All right, so can you get a clean spoon for I, yourself? I, I have it right here. So I love to get a pretty glass, and I love to create layers. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the cherry cobbler mixture, and then one layer of the, of the streusel, and then let's just do a little bit of the whipped cream so that it, we can more? see it. A little bit more, sure. Hey, you tell me a little. You're going to get yeah. a little. There. So now you can see, and then depending on how big your glass, we can do another layer. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get three out of here. Oh, well, man. it depends. I think you might get two. This is this is amazing. Whoa! And now, oh my God, Charles, you're gonna eat this, right? He loves this dessert. <laughs> sure. I mean, this is one of my. I was a pastry chef, by the way, who didn't use any SOS. Okay, so I'll put a little bit more cherry on top. Charles has been a good boy. He's going to get a good dessert a today. A sprinkle on top. And then we'll end with Someone one cherry. Don't you, want to put, don't you want to put a little bit of crumb? I, I think it looks kind of pretty like this. Okay. 
There you go. This Close is, <laughs> you could serve this to regular people. Oh my God. Wait, then, aren't we regular people? Well, we're kind of. I think we're regular people. We're hyper conscientious nutcases, but this is really, really <laughs> delicious. Speak for yourself. And you know, if you had a food dehydrator, you could warm this. I have you a food yeah. dehydrator. You don't want to like cook it, but if if you wanted it warm, but I prefer so this chilled. Would you Would you do this at like a, what 105? I mean, your just, dehydrator. You know, just very quickly, but I would. I prefer this chilled, but I, I like. Uh, it to me, it cool. sounds like. Cold so, would be tastier, but... So there we have it. Now, tomorrow on Chef AJ Live, day six of my free dinner with Chef AJ series, where I'm making four to five recipes from our book, we're actually making Shada's favorite recipe. Oh, my God, is, I love that recipe. It's the nutrient-rich black bean mm -hmm. soup, but we have a new way of doing it that's even can easier. I, can I tell them? Um, yeah. Oh, my God. When I, when I first started... I'm not hungry, but I want to eat this. When I first started so um, doing this way of eating, and I started with taking Chef AJ's classes and everything... For the most of the duration of my weight loss, I made that it's black bean nutrient. It's got food. like 14 pounds of vegetables well, in it or something like that. I liked like that. it because it really was tasty. It had all the greens in there. It had the beans in there. And it kept me full. And I didn't feel like I was missing out on anything. So that is by far, out of all of her recipes, that is by far my favorite. And that you know the one about that, that we always taught in every cooking class. But I need to learn how to make it in the instant yeah, pot because I still, show you because I what, still you make what, it on the stove nope, top. No, it's going to be so much easier. So any more questions? Or I, I'm not hungry, but this is so tempting. Well, so Charles needs a break, so he needs to eat this. Yeah. <laughs> you have a question about which uh, balsamic it was? I use smoked hickory because that's my smoked favorite. Smoked hickory, here but it is. But you could use any non-chocolate or fruit flavor. You California could use, balsamic. Uh, sweet heat would be good, blazing habanero. Um, curry, if you liked it. I mean, really, I don't think you could go wrong with any of the savory flavors. Gilroy garlic would be great. Yeah, so there we have it. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching, you guys. Thanks for doing such a great job. Oh, you look amazing. I'm gonna miss you when you I go mean, home I mean, tonight. Like, do you like? Do you, like? Do you ever like just like are in awe of, or so proud of yourself because you lost what I weigh? Like it's literally you were tw you imagine like if we could meld, I mean you were like two people. I I I. I it's extraordinary I, I, though. I mean it's hard to believe you were ever that person, right? Oh, I have pictures and you know, you know yesterday it was yesterday today Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yesterday I was at Macy's and I bought a pair of jeans and I bought a size four, and I didn't try it on. I just I went like this and I put it aside. And I thought oh it should fit. And then last night I'm like oh my god oh my god what if it doesn't fit I have to take it back. And it was too big. No, it, it, it fit, fit fine. but I still, it's been 10 years, and I still cannot wrap my head around well, that I can fit into a small size. That you're like, a skinny I just, bee, huh? I, I, I just... Well, keep it up, girl. Well, a, and if you up. want this result, sign up for the program. It starts tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific here's time. Here's a question about tomorrow's uh, cooking oh, time sure. with the Oscars. Is oh, that's tomorrow? right. We're going an hour earlier at 5 p.m. We'll have a special guest because so, we would like to see the Oscars at 5 no, uh, 4 p.m. 4 p.m. 4, yes, because yes. it starts at 5. Yeah, so we can be done by 5 to watch the Oscars, even though we don't have television, but we're going to go to a neighbor's. Another question, um, <laughs> may have missed it, but what other fruit would be good to use? And would fresh work or frozen? Well, you could do I used frozen. The problem with fresh is where am I going to get the juice? Yeah. I mean, and you're going to have to be pitting. There's three pounds of cherries, so with fresh, you're going to be doing a lot of pitting, and you're only going to be able to make it for like a month out of the year. So Okay, can I have a question? Mm -hmm. Could you, instead of, let's say somebody doesn't like cherry, could you use mango? Could you use uh, strawberries? I do not like cherry. Okay, oh but some, let, I'm being... I mean, like, okay, I, I, don't, I can accept any other fruit. But you cannot. I mean, chicken. okay. Let's do. Um, I would. I would do. Let's fruit. pretend. I would. I don't know about mango to be honest, but I would do blueberry. That would be my my first choice. Why not strawberry? Because who has ever had a strawberry cobbler? I don't know. Is there such a thing? I would do blueberry. That's what I would do. Like a frozen fruit that generates a lot of liquid. Okay. And, uh, Peach. Yeah, I think yes. peach, peach, I think peach do. would be tasty. Peach works. I've done peach. You're right. I and think peach, peach is peach warmed is delicious. Yeah. Thank you, Erin. And I think peach with a combination yeah. of the peach, pear would peach be peach really works good. Great. And with peach, you can even make the whipped cream out of peaches. Yep. There you go. We got to take pictures of this. This is good stuff. Oh, definitely. We're going to take pictures. Ooh, it's hot here. We're under the lights and stuff like that. Got the camera on us. Yep. And you got to still cook that pie for your mom. I know. I can't wait to make that pie, you guys. It's going to be delicious. Mm. So if you haven't gotten her book, I really recommend that yeah, you guys get her book. Yeah, that's a bonus recipe with the bonuses. The yep. pie recipe is not in the book. So thank you for supporting us. And we appreciate it. And 
I just love the photo. Oh, you know what? I made this the other day and I used blueberries instead of the currants and I didn't put the nuts in. This is the black bean soup that we're going to make. You tomorrow. know, the, um, you know, and what I use instead of currants mm -mm. is um, barberries. Mm. Oh, and where do you get those? In the Middle Eastern market. This is still my, my most popular recipe, the lasagna that we had for dinner last night. That's I don't it. think I've made that in years. It's, that's what you make for company. So that's it, guys. Why only for company? Why can't we make it for ourselves? Because <laughs> it's the hardest recipe I have. It has too many steps. And we make okay, it. Okay, that makes show. sense. That yeah. makes sense. I mean, I don't want to. I, for myself, this is my dinner. I microwave rice. Where's your pampered chef thing? Oh my God! That if you I guys don't have broccoli, I if you guys don't have balsamic, one of these, and that's how I, this yeah. how this chef cooks. I would never go to this trouble for myself. Hey, this chef cooks the same way as this chef, and so. I would go to the trouble for Charles if he insisted on it. But he's pretty happy with simple food. So thanks so much for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back at 11 a.m. tomorrow. And if you don't watch my show, it's at 11 a.m. every day Pacific time. Which I think you should watch our show because I have really good guests. And tomorrow, Chef Julia Dunaway making a veggie burger salad. Wonderful. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Healthy Cooking with Shada, and we will see you soon. Thanks again, guys. Bye. Bye. Eat well.